Vivek for Veep. Some New Hampshire voters seem to think that would be the best case. They're all in for Ramaswamy, according to new polling data. He's leading a potential pack of vice presidential picks at 28 percent, with his closest competition for Trump's vice president being Tucker Carlson and Kerry Lake, who are polling at just 9 percent. Now, those numbers were even higher for a potential Ron DeSantis presidency, this poll being taken before he dropped out. 31 percent for Ramaswamy when, when doing that pairing. For Nikki Haley, Tim Scott, however, seemed to be the most popular VP candidate, with 23 percent backing him for to be Nick ha Nikki Haley's VP. Ramaswamy has already endorsed Trump for president. Here's a reminder of what that looked like. Right now, we need a commander in chief who will lead us to victory in this war. That is this man standing right here. If you want to seal the border, vote Trump. If you want to restore law and order in this country, vote Trump. If you want to defeat the deep state, vote Trump. If you want to fight inflation, vote Trump. If you want to revive national pride in this country, vote Trump. Hashtag pride. All right, so, so tell me, are you at all surprised by those polling results? Um, no, not really. I, I think, uh, I mean, that tracks with a more maybe online group of people um, who, for whom Vivek Ramaswamy and Tucker Carlson and Kerry Lake are very popular um, figures. Um, I, I don't think Vivek Ramaswamy is a likely VP, VP pick, frankly. I think he might earn a position in Trump's cabinet. Um, as I said yesterday, I'm at this point feeling Haley herself or Tim Scott, um, or maybe Christy Nome, the, who, is, who was also on that list, um, the South Carolina governor. So, I mean, looking, looking at this, I mean, Haley doesn't stand a chance, right? Uh, in terms of this, just yeah. this poll, obviously. Yeah. Nowhere, nowhere in the running. Vivek, Tim Scott, Ben Carson? I've heard Ben Carson's name floated, but again, but just by people online. I, I'm, not, I'm not at the secret meetings where they're deciding these <laughs> things. But. I mean, and then Tucker Carlson, which is a perennial. People, right, people always bring that up. Tucker Carlson, obviously beloved by fans of Trump, by the MAGA base, uh, most popular um, political commentator on the right, uh, particularly for pro-Trump people, has said over and over again, as definitively as anyone can possibly say it, he has no interest in VP. He has no interest in running for president. He wants to be a media figure. He really doesn't want it. There's we're just, it, people just say that because they like him. Yeah. He has denied it strongly. Right. Look, and I we're have peaking. Every Why would right. we ever leave this right. spot? <laughs> yeah. yeah, same. Also not running for president or vice president. You said you don't want to be involved in politics Never anymore. You, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't take up the call to serve as press secretary nope. in a— uh, Never press secretary. Not even in a Marianne Williamson— Never press secretary no. because you, you can't speak for yourself, and I'm not in the habit of lying. Mm -hmm. um, then, okay, Sarah Huckabee Sanders, what's that about? I've, I've heard that name. She was really well-liked. Remember being Trump's—was um, she the first press—she uh, was one of the press secretaries. Mm -hmm. um, she, a lot of uh, uh, Republicans really liked how she handled the media. Um, her very—you know, not like—I I wouldn't say she was, like, deliberately combative, but just, like, I already answered that question. Yeah. Next question. She seemed to she handle herself her well in that arena. Yeah. She did well. Um, I, I mean, I get it. It's just surprising to me that and, people and serves, have such serves long... as she's governor of Arkansas. Mm -hmm. yeah. it's, it's just surprising to me that people are still thinking about her in that capacity. But I guess it does make sense. She's certainly qualified and would not be. I don't yeah. think she would cause Trump trouble. Speak, and that's the main job of the people who might cause Trump trouble. There's yep. Carrie Lake, yep. uh, who is actually running for uh, Senate in in Arizona. Um, so remember, Blake Masters, so in the last, the 2022 midterm, she was the gubernatorial candidate. She lost pretty narrowly. Um, Blake Masters was the Senate candidate who lost narrowly. And Blake Masters wanted to make another go of it mm -hmm. and run for this, um, for this uh, House seat that mm -hmm. opened up. And, um, and uh, but for, well, so first he wanted to run for, for, for Senate again. Carrie Lake said, no, I'm doing that. They had some fight about it on a, mm. a phone call. And he said, okay, never mind. She can run for that. I'm going to run for this ho open House seat, like in the Republican primary, for uh, uh, Debbie Lesko, Republican who retired. Uh, but because, Carrie Lake was so mad that he even dared to think about running for the Senate seat again. She endorsed a different Republican in that race, <laughs> and so did Trump. Oh. So he's, I think he's likely to lose that House race. Huh. Well, I mean, you had made the point um, Don't mess with when her. she That's lost. <laughs> you made the point when she lost that, that she was one of a 
um, a slate of uh, kind of Trump election denying candidates that just didn't do well in the midterm elections. And so, again, I think you're right, labeling her as part of the group that is not going to help Trump out or at least be neutral. Um, I don't think he needs more people who are invested in, you know, Trumpism or whatever that is. Right. He's he's the king Especially of that. Especially not who are specifically invested in the relitigating past elections of aspect of that that is right. just, that is not. It's not a winning. It's so not it a winning seem issue. Smart. It's like shooting yourself in the foot. Um, I, we wanted to play. We do have this clip of Trump reacting to uh, Tim Scott's wedding announcements. Remember, I said he got uh, engaged over the yeah. over the weekend, and I, I do think Scott is pretty up there as a likely potential uh, VP pick for Trump. Let's play that. We have another one. Everybody knows him, and today it was a big story, the biggest story out there. He's engaged to be married. We never thought this was going to happen. What's going on? A very, very fine person, a, a man that we work so closely and I work so closely with. He was in the Senate. He's been there now a long time and one of the most respected people in all of Washington, Senator Tim Scott, South Carolina. Just thought it was a funny way of saying yeah, it. Yeah. What took you so long, Tim Scott? <laughs> Look, going, going out of his way to, to say that does seem to indicate there's a closeness in that relationship, and that's perhaps part of why Tim Scott is uh, second placed on this poll uh, uh, of potential candidates. I am interested about some and some of these people who are rounding out the bottom. Nancy Mace uh, is at the bottom with less than 1%. She is someone who's been floated as right. a kind of more moderate, not as uh, um, intense on the abortion issue, able to play, like, thread that needle, frankly, in the way that Donald Trump has done, apart from, obviously, the reality of his appointments, um, I mean, she's, than others. To, for, for her to even rank, honestly, though, is, is, is impressive. For I mean, she's a House member. Mm -hmm. She doesn't have a huge national profile. I think she's becoming increasingly very well known to you know, DC insider people. She mm -hmm. does the the more of the um, the media circuit. She's very available to the press. Mm -hmm. She's putting out a lot of statements. She's becoming better and better known. But I, I don't think that's a not like it's an yeah. indictment of her that she's low. It's actually to her credit that that's she's a becoming point. a more. That's a good point. And I think she presents Republican. well. And I would be interested to see more conversation about her. See what what she says when she's asked about whether or not she'd be willing. Byron Donald is another interesting name on the list. Who of course um, gained some national prominence over the speakership battles. He was one of the people who at one time was the was the alternate choice uh, mm -hmm. for a speaker. And in the course of that, started doing a lot of media, including holding his own on a lot of liberal media channels and presenting, again, I think, really well, an up-and-coming Republican star. I thought he was incredibly impressive and incredibly effective as a Trump surrogate during the speaker battle and subsequently uh, on TV. He did, a, he did a really good job. And while he doesn't have nearly as much of the national profile as some of these other people we've mm -hmm. mentioned, um, he is... He is really good on television. Um, it would not be it would not be the craziest idea in the world to put him front and to make him veep and put him front and center. Now here, the, these next two are very different, uh, bring Trump very different things. Glenn Youngkin on one hand, who seems to represent the kind of regular moderate Republican that Trump seemed to indicate that he was going for, and Marjorie Taylor Greene. <laughs> <laughs> Again, Marjorie Taylor Greene is another Carrie Lake type pick. Like you're just picking the same, the same exact thing. That's not adding any kind of. Um, like temperamental diversity to mm -hmm. the ticket, I, I don't think um, that's something to do. And, and, and then Youngkin, you know, he's 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 very well liked by Republicans as Virginia's governor. He was very often proposed as an alternative to Trump for like a kind of never Trump movement, which is not that he's necessarily so moderate or anything, but he, he, he presents it kind of like Nikki Haley in a way that is more pleasing to Republican establishments while still having run on a lot of the COVID and school and anti-wokeness stuff, mm -hmm. uh, maybe being a little less hard-edged about it than a DeSantis, but you know, not being some sellout rhino on those issues yeah. either. So, so a lot of good things to say for him on that front, but um, but I don't think that's Would he happen. want it? It's not clear to me that he'd want it. I don't think it. he wants yeah. it. I don't think he, I, I think he could have aspirations down the line to, be president to, to run. Um, I don't think he wants to tie himself to Trump at this yeah, moment. Yeah, that feels right to me. All right, let us know what you think in the comments and stick around. We have more rising for you right after this.